In this video, we'll be fixing Kali Linux network issue in VirtualBox. First, open the terminal and run sudo apt update. And there's the error, fail to fetch. This usually means Kali can't connect to the internet. Let's confirm by pinging google.com. It says temporary failure in name resolution. This means DNS isn't working. So let's fix DNS first. We'll edit the DNS config file by typing sudo nano at cresolve.conf. And inside, we'll manually add some name servers. First one, name server 8.8.8.8, that's Google DNS. Second, name server 1.1.1.1, that's Cloudflare DNS. Save and exit. Try sudo apt update. It's working. Now, if we try pinging google.com again, it's also working now. So DNS issue is fixed. Now let's move on to the best VirtualBox network settings, power of the VM and open VirtualBox setting. In the network tab set adapter 1 to NAT, this gives your Kali access to the internet. Then enable adapter 2 and from the drop down choose host only adapter. This creates a private network between your Kali VM and your main PC. Basically, NAT gives your VM internet, host only allows you to ping and connect to your VM from your main PC. Bridge adapter is like connecting your VM directly to your router, but it's not always stable, so we'll skip that. Now boot up the VM again. Open the terminal and try pinging google.com. And it's not working again. Try sudo apt update, same error. We already fixed DNS, so let's check the IPs. Type IPA and you'll see that H0, which is NAT, has no IP address. That's the problem. Let's fix it by running sudo dhcpcd h0. This asks your VirtualBox NAT network to give Kali an IP address. Now if we check again, yep, S0 has an IP now. We can also check the IP route. This shows how network traffic is being routed. And we can confirm that the default route is via NAT. So now let's try updating the packages and ping google.com and we can confirm it's working. But let's see what happens if we reboot the system. and the internet breaks again so we need to make it permanent so let's get our net working again and here are two ways to make it permanent first method for CLI users edit the network interfaces file by typing sudo nano at c network interfaces at the bottom add auto h0 iface h0 init dhcp save and exit Now reboot the VM. And you can confirm everything works fine. Second method recommended if you prefer using the GUI. Edit the network manager config with sudo nano at c network manager network manager.conf. Look for the line that says manage equal to false and change it to true. Save and exit. Then restart the service using sudo systemctl restart network manager.
Now run NMTUI, that's a built-in terminal GUI for network config. Select edit a connection, then pick your H0 connection. Check the option automatically connect by pressing the spacebar. Hit OK, go back and exit. Now let's test it. Remove the changes we made earlier in the interfaces file. Reboot again. And check the internet. Run IPA. Yep, H0 has an IP. Try pinging Google. Works. Try sudo app update. Also works. Now one more thing. The importance of enabling host only along with NAT. Let's copy Kali's IP address, the one from H1, which is the host only network. Now open the command prompt on your main PC. Type ping and paste the IP here. It should ping. And yep, it's working. That means your main PC can talk to the Kali VM directly. And that's it for this video. Hope this helped. Drop a like if it did. And I'll catch you in the next one.